and Betsy, this is Appointment Core. Both of you have had questions on how to change your booking times. Anna, you were saying you want people to be able to book or you want to book one-on-one -on -one foundations times at more times than we allowed uh, originally. And Betsy has said the same thing as well as one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, baseline times to meet up. So I want to introduce to you guys how to change it yourself because I just don't have time to go in here and change it. So this will be your home screen. It'll show any and all appointments that I, for instance, Daniel Davidson have today. It'll show your appointments on here if you want to take a look at it. What you need to do is click on booking links. Once you're in booking links, you'll be able to see your booking links. So Betsy here has a trial class. Uh, the foundations, Betsy, one-on-one, -on -one, Betsy, you can come into here and we can hit edit and it's going to load all the information that the person would get once you schedule the class. So if we scroll down we can see all this information including Betsy's name and then we can hit continue to next step and when we go to continue to next step it's going to say set availability. When we scroll down here's the availability that we previously have set what you need to do is you can go in here and trash the ones you don't want and we can go and add or exclude and you can either add or limit the availability so in Anna's case I would say Anna with your on-ramp you would want to repeat rule and set it so that they can't or you can't schedule on-ramp at certain times for instance all day on Wednesday or if you wanted so that they didn't schedule it from 6 p.m. at night all the way to 7 a.m. in the morning or during workout times. You can do that in here. And then just hit continue to next step. So go in here and do this. It's super important that we book these schedules, not because we want to see how many people we're scheduling, but because it sends them reminders to sign up. Call me or text me. Let me know if you have any questions on how to do this. Uh, you really can't screw it up, and they have really good help and support that you can email into.